For those of you in the 3D printing community that have been living under a rock for the past month, uh, you might be surprised to learn that Bamboo Labs has decided to lock down their ecosystem even further than it has already been locked down. I'll leave a link down in the description that will link you to a video to kind of explain in depth what the problem is and what it means for the future of Bamboo Labs printers. But for me personally, I'm a huge fan of the open source movement, so much so that I've bought a number of Voron printers, I converted my Ender 5 into a Mercury 1, uh, and I absolutely loved the Prusa printers that I've had over the years. However, for ease of use and features and honestly, just quality of the prints, I've invested a lot of money in Bamboo Labs printers over the last year. Uh, that's what makes today's video so difficult for me because I got my shipping notification a couple weeks ago that my Bamboo Labs A1 Mini that I purchased before the new year was on its way. And I told myself I wasn't going to buy another A1 or Bamboo Labs printer. And this A1 Mini went below $200 and I purchased it. And then the news came out that Bamboo Labs was going to be locking down and securing their firmware. So I didn't know what I wanted to do. 